Well, good morning, everyone. Well, this is morning here. Uh, I told you I was going to put out a new video, work on a new video, uh, about Pastor Greg Locke. He's uh, a pastor somewhere down there in central Tennessee, and he's an extremist. I, I, I was raised in a church. Um, my grandma, Shorts, was the first one to me in church. And I went to a church, uh, Pentecostal Holiness, and they believe in speaking in tongues and all that shit. And uh, my cousin Ansel Childress was the preacher at our church. Now, this is just an old country church. Every time the doors are open, we was at church. They had church, let's see here, Wednesday nights and Saturday and Sunday. And, you know, Sunday would be uh, Sunday school, preaching after Sunday school, and then uh, church on Sunday night. And heaven forbid, there'd be a damn revival. They'd be the open 20, all two weeks, sometimes they do two weeks, sometimes a week, some two, hell, some a month. On the one time we had one, uh, Randy Webb was guest uh, preacher. Shit, I think that one lasted for a month. Every fucking day in church. Jesus Christ. But the one thing about these preachers, and I've been to a lot of churches, like I said, I've been to churches all over Southwest Virginia and uh, Eastern Kentucky, Eastern Tennessee, Southern West Virginia. And the one thing I noticed that a, a, a lot of churches that, you know, from my, my opinion, because, you know, I'm a non-believer now. I'm a, I, I don't even like to be classified, but if you're going to classify me anything, I guess it'd be an atheist. Because I don't believe in that shit. But I was raised on it. And, uh, every time the preachers get all excited preaching, and, you know, preaching about, you know, you're going to hell, or, or preaching, you know, God's love. Mostly that's all it was, was God's love. Uh, I never heard no preacher preach hate. I never heard no preacher preach extremism. And I never heard no preacher preach politics. And I went to church from the time I was, what? Eight years old, all the way up till I was 20 years old. That's, what's that, 12 years? 12 years I went to church. I've been to black churches, white churches. And uh, different, like I said, different different types like you know church of god baptist methodist all that shit I, i've been to a lot of different ones i went along with my uncle pearl he he uh he traveled around and went to different churches and the reason why because there's one church we used to go to a pilgrim's knob uh, uh the preacher was dewey ward a little short ball headed fucker Good man, I'm you know he was a good man, hard working coal miner. See that's what preachers do around here. They actually fucking work, and then go to church. They don't try to make no fucking money off the church, off the people to live a lavish lifestyle, like some of these fuckers in Texas or all over the country. You know that uh, prosperity preaching bullshit. Oh yeah. If you send me money, 
God will make your life rich. Wealth beyond your wildest dreams. Right. While they're, while they're sitting in a damn $15 million mansion, their asses scraping up from the damn couch to get some pennies to go buy some mac and cheese for your kids. But Dewey Ward, he was one of these fire, stone, smoke-breathing, hell-bound type of preachers. I mean, he scared shit out of you. I mean, he'd get up there, he'd get in the pools, and he'd be, he'd be preaching so goddamn hard and so fucking loud. I mean, he had this vein that popped right out on top of his fucking head. I swear to God, it looked like motherfuckers going to have an aneurysm or a heart attack. He gets so red in the face and the sweat just the pouring. And you're just sitting there like, damn, I'm going to hell right now. This motherfucker going to preach me right into hell. And he always fucked with me because of my long hair. He got up there one time preaching because I was the only guy in there with long hair. I was about to see. Let me back up a little bit there. Churches I went to, men had short hair and the boys. Girls supposed to have long hair because, you know, it was supposed to be their glory. Women supposed to wear dresses, men supposed to wear, you know, their slacks and all that. I mean, you know, you have to be a certain way to be, to go into a church. You got to look a certain way. And he got on my ass one time about my long hair. I got to walk the fuck out because I wanted to jack the fuck out of him. And I was like, I don't know, 14 years old. 13 and I didn't have my hair that long it was just down here on my neck a little bit but oh lord it's gonna cause me to go to hell I, oh fuck see that's the only extremism I've ever seen let me fix my hat I don't know why it wants to slide off today got hair all over the place lord mercy uh <laughs> Talk about my hair. Dewey must be thinking. It must be from the great beyond. Fucking women. But Dewey, he was rough, man. I know one time, what well, you know, my mom, dad, me, my brother, and my uncle Pearl were there, and we've been going there for I guess a couple of years. And, uh, this man came in there, dirty, didn't smell good, you know, kind of rough. And Dewey seen it, and the deacons went and, and to the guy and talked to him for a minute, and then escorted him outside. Well, when he came back in, my uncle stood up and he asked him, Why'd you escort that man outside? Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. My uncle kept pressing. And they finally, oh, well, you know, he's in here wanting something to eat, you know, taking up our time and all that. My uncle looked at them and said, how do you know that wasn't Jesus that came in here and asked for some help? And y'all turned him away. Ah, uh, you know, I, you don't believe what you're preaching. That God, you know, that God could have came and, and made his presence known in the church, come as a beggar, and you turn him away. How do you sing about it? How do you know it couldn't really happen? So my uncle got pissed off. He left. I went my uncle. And the guy, you know, we, he caught up with the guy out there in the uh, parking lot, gave him some money, sent him on his way. And my uncle, that's when he decided he was just going to go to different churches and check them out. And I, and I went with him. But that's the only extremism I've ever seen in a church like that. Now, this motherfucking Greg Locke, 
ever since he raised immortal shit, I guess on TikTok, about having to wear a mask when the pandemic started at a Dunkin' Donuts. It's shot to popularity like a motherfucker. He's a little shit-talking little bitch is what he is. I've seen, uh, I've seen videos of this fucker saying, you know, you, you, you can't be a Christian and be a Democrat. What the fuck does that mean? You can't be, well, hell, you can't be a Christian and be a Republican if you're going to go by the Bible. If you're going to go by the Word of God, then what the hell is he bringing religion I mean, uh, politics and a religion. Does he not re understand the separation of church and state? Do you know that's for a fucking reason? Church stays on one side. Politics stays on the other. But ever since the past, I guess, 20 years or so, 30, politics, religion's always meant to play the part in politics. You can't be an atheist and hold political uh, political uh, 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 tenure at anything. Mm -mm. If I was if I was to go out here and try to run for something, and they found out I was an atheist, shit, I wouldn't get a vote. You got to be a God fearing man or woman before you can become a politician. Got to know where your faith is. People vote with their faith. And if you're a fucking Republican, and you're a Christian, I don't get it. I don't get it that everything that Christianity stands for, Republicans are all against. And you Christians, it makes you hypocrites. I mean, seriously, feed the poor? You're supposed to feed the poor. But you all don't want, oh, no, heaven be my tax paying money go to feed anybody. Even though Jesus believed in feeding the poor. Jesus laid down with the beggars. Jesus healed the sick. Republicans don't want to give no damn money or work on health care or nothing to heal the sick. I mean, I had to sell my fucking property because I didn't get no help. I sold my property for fucking doctor bills, hospital bills, because of my illness. Illnesses. Land that my daddy bought. Land I fought so hard to get. And then I had to sell it. I, I went up there on the hill. It broke my heart, man. You all have no idea how hard it is to sell your fucking land that your daddy walked, worked so hard, killed himself in the fucking coal mines. And, and then you finally get it, you know, after fighting with family, after bullshit, after bullshit. Republicans don't want to feed, don't want to help with health care, don't want to help kids. They don't want to stop this gun violence. Background checks, psychological checks, training, something. They're gonna be more they're gonna be more killings of children and other people. They're gonna be more mass killings. It's it's just the way it is in America. Somebody with an assault rifle wants to kill everybody and send them to the Lord. And this Greg Locke, this fucking got the Napoleon complex little bitty bitch fuck. I like to slap the shit out of him. He acts like he country and all that and think he's a little bad he's a little badass preacher. If somebody says anything in his church he don't like, he he has them escorted out. Escorted out. What happened to freedom of speech, man? Freedom of speech still works in the fucking church. What is it? Just his speech? 
Mm -mm, mm -mm. He also calls people like me, they're a Democrat, liberal, progressive, calls us baby killers. No, we're not the baby killers. Uh, you're the baby killers. You Christian, Republican, fuck, uh, excuse me, mega group. You Trump supporters, you steal the vote shit, you people that support redistricting to where you keep the poor and the middle class and the blacks and the Mexicans and Asians, you, you keep any ethnic group from voting, making it harder to vote. Taking away drop boxes, taking away uh, early voting, taking taking away mail in ballots. That shit worked so good during the pandemic. And, oh Lord, you motherfuckers lost your shit because Biden got eight million more votes. Eight million. Hell, Hillary beat Trump with three million votes, but no. Electoral College. Got to give Wyoming. Big say, too. Only 250,000 people in the whole fucking state. You got to give them just as much say as someone, a state like Michigan that has <laughs> millions of people. <sighs> Electoral College needs to go. He says we hate this nation. People like me. People like me that's not religion. Not religious, I mean. Hell, you know. Not, he, 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 he thinks people like I don't hate this nation. I love this fucking nation, man. Just because we don't agree don't mean we hate the nation. Like my last video said, America's not like it used to be. It's not. And it's not changing for the good. This is white nationalist bullshit. You know, only the whiteies, only the whiteies can run this country and rule this country. <clears throat> it's like it's Pastor Greg Locke. I wonder how many black people go to his church or brown people. I bet they ain't many. I bet they ain't many at all. He says we're communists, people like me. Why are we communists? There's people out here working their ass off every day that think like me. Only thing worth saying and you should be saying this, especially you, Greg Locke, and you're a fucking supposedly preacher. Is that the government we, we should be providing housing for anyone who needs that can't afford it. Providing food for any and everyone who can't afford it. Health care for anyone who cannot afford it. Clean water. Look at Flint, Michigan. They still ain't got their shit right with their water. Climate change. People, the weather is changing. If you, it, it, I'm 52 years old. I know the weather's completely different than what it was when I was a teenager or a young man. Hell, in the wintertime, we used to have snow, big snows. I'm talking about anywhere 20, 30 inches of snow. And this is in fucking Virginia. Now, we might get 10 inches of snow. Sometimes all winter, that's all we get. And those 20, 30 some inches of snow we used to get, hey, we'd get them like every weekend. Hell, I remember one time we got out for Christmas break. Hell, we didn't go back to school until the end of February. 
because we kept getting so much fucking snow and cold. Oh my God, would it get cold? Shit. And, and, and Greg Lock also, if y'all want to see what I'm talking about, I, I'm, I'll look up and see if I can find some links where I've seen this shit, and I'll, I'll post them down below. Let you watch this fuckwad. But he also preached, and this sounds like a threat, man. Said uh, that the church, his, the church will take back this country. Church never owned this country. Why the fuck you think people came here in the first place? Let's get away from the church. This church, this, this country wasn't founded on religion. Hell, our founding fathers, if you would study history and not burn your fucking books, like this some bitch did, he had a book burning at his church. A book burning. Just because you don't like the book. Don't read it. We are a civilized world. For the most part. And, and books is everything, man. How the fuck do you think we learn? We learn from writing. We learn from books. We learn from oral traditions. We, that's the way to... Uh, was always been stories passed down now we have uh, uh, the capability of writing it down for the next generation but oh heaven forbid somebody reads something about a gay kid a gay teenager heaven forbid somebody reads something about a uh, satanic group i mean they have freedom of religion here too Heaven forbid somebody read about a trans, a trans person. Heaven forbid somebody read about slavery in this country. Heaven forbid. And he calls us the fucking commies? No. Motherfucker, better look again under, uh, 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 under the meaning of communist. He's a fucking commie. He says that Democrats are demons. I ain't no demon. I ain't never been possessed that, that I know of. Most, most Democrats that I know of and know personally, they're like me. They have an empathy. They have a big heart. They care about their fellow man. They, they're the ones who organize. It seems like they organize so much stuff to try to help people. They give. Most, most Democrats are very intelligent people and have high-paying jobs. And they donate money like crazy to all kinds of organizations. What does Greg Lott, what's he donate to? He don't donate to nobody. He's sitting there with his fucking hand out. It's just like the government. Let me see. What is it called? The uh, 501c3? Yeah, the 501c3. That's a, I, 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 got, I got some notes wrote down so I don't miss anything. Uh, the 501c3 is the organization. is a non-profit organization established exclusively for one of the following purposes, charitable, religious, educational, scientific, literary, testing for public safety, foster national or international amateur sports competition and preventing cultural, uh, I mean, cruelty to children or animals. And that means you're tax exempt. That means you ain't got to pay no damn sales tax or taxes on any earned income. And Greg Locke preaching this bullshit under that. That's a no-no. You can't do that. Because it says here, due to Senator... Let me see, what's this? What is this? Senator Johnson? Let me make sure I'm right here. Uh, 
It says here, uh, churches were only added to Section 501c3 of the tax code in 1954 by Senator Johnson. Uh, churches are prohibited from addressing in any tangible way the vital issues of the day, especially politics. Johnson wanted to church out politics. And he got it. And I'm glad he did. Because where the churches were trying to run the fucking country, churches are trying to pull their, have, say, their Christianity moralities higher than anybody else's morality. Just because my morality might be different from yours. I mean, I think, uh, you know, a woman's body is her body. If she wants to have an abortion, she can have an abortion. Who am I to tell her not to? How I know her financial state? How I know she hasn't been raped? How do I know she it, it ain't incest? How, how do I know it's a, a, a medical problem? I don't know this and I don't care. It ain't none of my business. That's between her and her doctor. But no, a bunch of white men, old white men, Oh, white Christian men. Scared to death that the number of blacks and browns and such are going to take control of this country. The minority is going to up run, run things one day. I hope so. I hope I live to see it. Things will be different then when you have women and the minorities out here fighting because they know where how it feels to be on the bottom and they'll make it so much better for everyone else even the ones who fucking hate them just because of the color of their skin or because of their religious preference or sexual preference jesus what a mess he also said that a demon talks to him and told him that he had witches in his church. Now, first off, that threw a red flag to me is, what's this motherfucker talking to a demon for? Don't you all, don't Christians, don't y'all supposed to not talk to demons? Ain't that like a no-no? That, one, that one's kind of got me a little baffled, you know. He's talking to demons. Maybe it explains his fucking hate. Maybe it explains his fucking preaching, his screaming and hollering and beating and bouncing around like a fucking lunatic on a damn stage. And he even said he knew these witches by name. And then one lady, apparently, or man, I don't know, but he said one of the witches, he knew their address. And told him to get out of his church. If he didn't get out, he's going to release this information. What kind of fucktard is this? He, see? Violence. Violence. Hate. You know, they were witches way before there was any Christians. Where do you think Christianity gets a shit ton of its information from in the Bible and a lot of traditions? Pagans. Pagans. You know, every, all these Christians put up a Christmas tree every year and put their little sparklings on. You know, in the Bible, it says you're not supposed to do that. There's a lot of things in the Bible that says you're not supposed to do. But Christians do it anyway. Oh, that's in the Old Testament. We don't go by the Old Testament. That's the Jewish Bible. That's, that's for the Jews. Well, if it wasn't important, then why the fuck's it in the books? Why is it in the Bible? Take the Old Testament out. Live by the New Testament. 
Old Testament wasn't nothing but fucking killing and murdering everybody. New Testament's all peace and love and joy. You get to the end. <sighs> He's a Trump supporter. Jesus fuck. Which I don't care. I don't care if a Christian supports Trump, so be it. That means <laughs> you go against everything you're supposed to believe in. But, hey, your choice. But there again, politics. Do you know that little motherfucker was at the Capitol on January 6th during an insurrection? So he's an insurrectionist. He want, wanted to help overthrow our country. To stop a legal Biden procedure of the transfer of power from Trump to Biden. And he is one of those that wanted to hang Mike Pence, our vice president. I don't agree with Mike Pence. But he's still fucking vice president. I don't get, agree with Trump. I hate the motherfucker. But I don't want nobody to fucking kill him. These motherfuckers that went up there, they wanted to kill Pelosi. Chuck Schumer. Hell, Biden. And Mike Pence. And he was right there. He wasn't preaching. No, no, no. Motherfucker wasn't preaching. He hates gays. He's a racist. He's a white nationalist. And violence. Everything he talks about is violence. I don't give a shit. I don't care how pissed off you get at me. You get out of my house. Get out of my church. Oh, this is something a lot of people, you got to look this up a little bit. He was married for a while, for a long time. Then all of a sudden he gets these, he gets big britches here. Thinks he's a big boy. And next thing you know, he, next thing you know, he just divorces his wife. And then he marries his fucking secretary. What? Mm -mm -mm. Scandalous, scandalous. I wonder if that demon was talking to him when he slides his pecker up into his damn secretary while his wife was at home making him some Christian cookies. Hmm? Makes you wonder. I don't know, Greg Locke is a piece of shit. Greg Locke, I seen that he, that yesterday, that he said he's uh, got rid of his 501c3 status, which that's good. That's good if he did. Bravo. Preach away, brother. Preach away. Now you got to pay taxes. I wonder how much money you've got stashed away in offshore accounts or hidden away and shit. IRS gonna be coming looking for your ass, bitch. And I also watched where these conservative Republican I, I, I'm not gonna say that they're Republican. I just they're conservative preachers because they didn't say they're turning on you, Greg. Your own people are turning on you. They don't like what you're doing. They don't like you preaching this hate. They don't like you preaching this violence. They don't like you outcasting the minorities. They don't like you outcasting people of their sexual orientation. They don't like you preaching this nationalism. Oh. Mm. Granite. Good old country preachers, 
they may not, may not have the power, like, say, the Pope and the Catholic Church to bring down on you. Well, I'm telling you one thing. You're pissing off a lot of good old country preachers. And they'll make your life a living hell, you little bitch. I hope they crush you like a little cockroach you are. Because you are terrible. You're terrible to your congregation. You're terrible to your, your community, your state, and your country. And I can't wait to watch you fucking fall. And if you want to contact me, Greg, you want to talk to me mano to a mano, you better get your fucking high chair and step the fuck up. I'll be waiting.